Hello everybody, it's Vertical Sandwich. Welcome back to Season 2 of Be uh, Sam and Max Beyond Time and Space. We have some more stuff to look at at Stinkies before we actually, uh, you know, like, do anything else. I want to see the devil memorabilia here. Whee! Another satisfied customer. Alright. Gooey molasses tar cake. Looks like girl Stinky was telling the truth for once. The gooey molasses tar cake really is an old family recipe. Okay. Honest, Stinky, we're detectives and we've seen all the evidence. You're gonna get offed. When? How? And who's going to do it? Well, we don't know exactly. Detectives is really more of a catch-all term for guys with guns. <laughs> Some woman claiming to be your granddaughter has taken over your restaurant. Granddaughter Mike left Pallet. I never had any children. Really? A cantankerous, misanthropic, <laughs> hairy old cuss like you would be great with kids. Hmm. Perhaps. Someday. <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to rush you, Stinky, but if you're planning kids, you're going to have to get on that pretty quick. We want to order something. Too bad. We'll take a pan-fried red panda with... What? Can't you see? I'm so close to perfecting my gooey molasses tar cake. I can't be arsed to cook for you hooligans when i got so much cooking to do. Okay. What's a gooey molasses tar cake? It's based on my ancient family recipe. But my proud, knuckle-dragging forefathers never thought to use my secret ingredient. The blood of innocence! Nutmeg. You're both wrong, <laughs> and you're both stupid. It's the one thing no one has ever thought to use before. I'll test your tar cake for you, Stinky. Sam can, and will, eat anything. Oh, you'd like that, wouldn't you? To just waltz into a restaurant and order something to eat. You're just trying to find out my secret ingredient. Well, you won't, because it's the one thing no one has ever thought to use. We're from the Public Health Board. Almost none of the vermin in this establishment are wearing federally approved hairnets. <laughs> Government types. Pah! Weak and pathetic, the lot of you. You can't even begin to comprehend what I'm doing here. My dishes will challenge the weak and weed out the inferiors like you jelly-jawed lip flappers. Only the strongest will survive. It will be glorious! Wow! <laughs> so, are you going to show us to our table or what? <laughs> How are the 80s treating you, Stinky? What? What are you two still doing here? No animals allowed in my diner. It's okay. We're service animals. Could we be seated already? No shirt, no shoes, no service. We're being discriminated against, Sam. Okay. So long, Stinky. <laughs> Alright, let's try this paper making machine on other people. Weird. It doesn't work on him for some incomprehensible reason we don't care enough about to pursue further. Good. Good. Keep your fancy gewgaws and who's your watch it's away from me. All right. Fair enough. Let's see if it works on young Sam and Max. Hmm. It printed out a card with the Intergalactic Freelance Police logo. Sounds intriguingly futuristic. Okay. I already scanned Max with this thing. And that's how we got here. I see. Okay. Fair enough. All right. I actually want to try using the screwdriver on the portable AI. 
Hmm, it's sealed on there with some futuristic super adhesive. I'd never be able to pry it off. All right, in we go. Time for a new time destination. I could say time a bunch more times in other things to that, but no, I'm not going to. So, intergalactic secret police. I, so I, I, I guess we're going to the future. I don't know. All right. It is apparently our office. Oh, very crazy. Look, Sam, more visitors. I don't know how to use a light bulb with that. There, there, Sam. Hello, future me. I can't shoot, Max. Apparently, all those years of adventuring have taken their toll. I can't use these things together. <laughs> I like that. When did the Jetsons move in? There goes the neighborhood. All right. Help me, future Max. Hey, future Max. Oh, hey, guys. Look, Sam, more visitors for your special day. Comically backwards past versions of ourselves. No, I want to keep these shoestrings. That's nice, Sam. <laughs> The future is a baffling potpourri of peculiar sights and odors. Yes, our advanced world must be frightening and confusing to you. I'll try to speak slowly so that your 21st century <laughs> brains can understand. So much in the office has changed. Oh, the wonders I could show the two of you if I wasn't afraid of violating the time stream. Yeah, the time stream's asking for it. Well, okay. In the future, <laughs> we can make phone calls to other people even when we're not at home. My God! And our cars now have additional brake lights above the rear seats. <gasps> what about robots? Okay. Do you remember how we cured Bosco of his parentage problems? Bosco, Bosco. Oh, he's the guy who invented Skynet, isn't he? No. I was hoping I'd be the one who did that. <laughs> I don't remember much about that case. Uh, something about spit, wasn't it? Very nice. I'm glad to see the old freelance police are still in business. Yes, dear stupid past Sam. But of course, <laughs> now we're a wholly owned subsidiary of Stinky Corp. Oh man, what Stinky Corp? What Stinky Corp? <laughs> Get a load of this, Sam. These yokels have never heard of Stinky Corp. I don't feel like playing darts right now. <laughs> yes. Well, anyway, <laughs> Stinky Corp is the mega corporation that owns everything in the future. Stinky made enough money from her diner to take over the world? No, no, cretinous Max. From her super adhesive. Oh. What's this about Stinky super adhesive? It revolutionized the whole galaxy. Now it's used for everything from scrapbooking to alien spacecraft. All right. She's claimed in interviews that it was based on an old family formula. But Sam and I think we figured out the real secret. It's made from mole men. All right. It's made from the tar cake. Very nice. You must have been having a ton of exciting future adventures in space. No, we don't take that many cases anymore. We try to stay mostly around this street and the neighboring shops. Still? <laughs> if you're not taking cases, what do you guys do? I've become an expert in volcanology, and Sam is... <laughs> well, Sam is in his own world now. Great transmogrifying vapor wolves of Rigel 17. <laughs> Boost a rocket through the Van Allen belt. I'm in my office. <laughs> wow. <gasps> What's wrong with the other me? Oh, he's fine. Mostly. The years add up, though. It's lint from my pocket. This should be useful later. <laughs> I love that all of his jokes are about, like, things you would interact with. Like, things that... Alright. What about robots? Do we have robot slaves in the future? With lasers? Oh, you uncultivated savages. Robots are used for controlling our spaceships these days. Surely you've heard of the main Tron 28,000 line? Well, of course!
Nice. Right, Sam? Everybody's heard of that. I can't shoot, Max. <clears throat> All right. So long, everybody. Maybe Not everybody. You. So long. That's how we say goodbye in the future. Okay, so. What else can we interact with here? This computer. With this bad boy, we'll never need another file cabinet. The bulletin board. The bulletin board's all wet and ruined. We must get careless in the future. Who cares? High-tech rats. What future dystopia is this? Looks like we kept Bosco's model volcano after all these years. Blowing things up for science will never go out of style. Fair enough. Nice. Whoa. <laughs> I hate pack rats. I kind of figured that would happen, but... Hmm. Guess we couldn't afford two tape drives. All right. So... How far will this allow us to turn around? Where we're going, we won't need coach. All right. Fair enough. No, I didn't want. I don't want to use the elevator. I actually want to come over here. Okay, that's apparently all I can interact with. So, okay, we have to figure out the secret recipe for the super. Oh. Frog mariachis. Maybe we need Whee! that. Their appeal is timeless. Really? Okay. Whee! Okay. So, uh, we have scanned Sam. We have scanned Max. We have not scanned Mama Bosco. And, uh, we have not... Yeah, let's try Bosco's time card again. And we'll see if we can get a time card... From Mama Bosco. Cause why not? She's a person we haven't scanned. We could probably also scan the AI, possibly. I don't know. So well, I wonder what his ingredient for his tar cake would be. The one thing nobody has ever thought to use, apparently, but Alright. What was that? It printed a time card with a presidential seal and some strange numbers. Okay, fantastic. We've got a new time card, which means we can go to a new time. But before we do, uh, let's look around and see if any of these items are grabbable. Because, you know, it might be handy. No, none of this is stinky secret ingredient. Um... All right, so uh, when we come back to the presidential whatever, I will see you guys for that, and bye, everybody.